Picture this. You're doing an oil change on your 2009 BMW. You have no idea what you're doing. So you pull out your phone, point the camera at your engine, and an AI voice calmly walks you through every bolt, every torque spec, every O-ring, like a mechanic is standing right next to you. That's not 2030. That's happening right now. And according to Google's AI boss, Demis Hassabis, 2026 is about to make that look like child's play. Today, we're diving into a recent interview where Demis Hassabis, the guy running Google DeepMind, basically sketched out the next 12 months of AI. And let me tell you, if he's even half right, we're not just getting smarter chatbots, we're getting Omni models, AI that can see, hear, speak, move, remember, plan, and even build entire worlds you can walk around in. Buckle up, this is gonna be wild. So what the heck is an Omni model? Think of it like this. Right now, most AI is like a Swiss army knife. You've got a tool for text, a tool for images, a tool for video, all separate blades. Hasaba says by 2026, Google's Gemini will be more like a transformer robot, one unified brain that handles everything, robotics, images, video, audio, 3D, and text, all at once, all talking to each other. He calls it convergence of modalities. I call it AI finally growing up. And here's the kicker. Because Gemini was trained multimodally from day one, it's already showing what Hasabis calls cross-pollination. The image system doesn't just draw pretty pictures, it understands them well enough to create accurate infographics and diagrams. The robot brain doesn't just move, it reasons before it acts. This isn't Frankenstein's monster stitched together from spare parts. This is one coherent system that's learning to do everything. Let's start with the physical world. Google's Gemini Robotics 1.5 is already doing things that sound like science fiction. Picture this, an Aloha robot sorting fruit by color. Sounds simple, right? But here's the twist. It thinks step by step before it moves. It observes the table, plans the action, executes, then reobserves and adjusts. Or how about this, an Apollo humanoid doing laundry. You tell it, put whites in white bins, darks in dark bins. Halfway through, you swap the bins. The robot notices, pauses, updates its plan, and keeps going. But my favorite? The compost robot. You ask it to sort trash using San Francisco's local waste rules. The robot doesn't have those rules memorized. So what does it do? It Googles them, pulls up the city guidelines, reads them, then sorts accordingly. This is not scripted behavior. This is agentic reasoning in a robot body. And by 2026, Hasaba says these robots will have better perception, longer planning horizons, and tighter links to world models. Translation, robots that can actually help in your home or workplace, not just demo in a lab. Now, let's talk visuals. Google's Nano Banana Pro is their latest image model, and it's doing something sneaky. Most image generators work like this. You type a prompt, the AI spits out a picture. Done. Nano Banana Pro? It generates the image, then inspects it, like a designer doing a self-review. It checks the layout, the text, the relationships between objects. If something's off, like a mislabeled chart or wrong object count, it fixes it before showing you. That's why it's so good at infographics and diagrams. It's not just drawing, it's thinking about what it drew. And on the video side, Google's V3 model is already being called pretty much the leader in image-to-video generation. High fidelity, smooth motion, strong consistency. By 2026, expect video generation grounded in full conversations, not just single prompts. More control over camera movement, pacing, narrative structure. And better integration with world models, so characters and objects behave consistently across multiple clips. In other words, video won't be a side tool. It'll be how AI thinks. Let's talk about your new AI mechanic. Imagine this, you're trying to change the oil on a BMW. Instead of getting lost in YouTube rabbit holes, you have a calm expert standing right next to you, watching through your phone's camera. That's Gemini Live. This is a real demo. A guy points his phone at his engine bay. Gemini instantly checks that he has the right oil, 5W40, the correct filter, and all the right tools laid out. Then it walks him through it, step by step. It guides him on lifting the car safely, points out the exact location of the drain plug, tells him where to position the drain pan, and reminds him to install a new washer. It even gives him the exact torque spec, 18 foot-pounds, no guessing. Then the guy holds up the old filter. Gemini spots it immediately, points out the two tiny O-rings that absolutely have to be replaced, and even explains the best way to pry them off without damaging anything.
To finish the job, it tells him the BMW N54 engine takes precisely 6.9 quarts of oil, notes that there's no physical dipstick, and then walks him through using the electronic oil level sensor on the dashboard. This is the future of learning on the fly. No more searching. Just ask, show, and do. By 2026, expect this to be faster, smarter, and able to handle way more complex tasks. Now, let's leave the garage because this is where it gets really sci-fi. Google's AI chief, Demis Hassabis, is personally working on something called World Models. The flagship is Genie 3, and it's not what you think. You type a text prompt, but instead of getting an image or a video clip, you get a world. A world you can walk inside and explore in real time. Google's own words are, these are not games or videos, they're worlds. Here's what makes this so insane. First, it's interactive in real time. The environment responds instantly as you move. Second, it has world memory. You can paint on a wall, walk around the block, come back, and your paint is still there. The world remembers. Third, you can prompt new events on the fly. Add a character, a vehicle, a surprise rainstorm, whatever you can think of. The obvious use case is gaming, sure, but the deeper opportunity here is training and simulation. Imagine robots learning to navigate complex environments before a single physical one is built. Firefighters running disaster drills in a perfect replica of your city. Surgeons practicing a new procedure. By 2026, these world models could be a standard tool for robotics, science, and education. So we have an AI that guides you in the real world and an AI that builds virtual worlds. The last piece of the puzzle is the agent army. Instead of one single AI trying to do everything, imagine a team of specialized AIs, each with its own tools and goals, working together on a massive task. Google is building one called CoScientist. It acts like a virtual research partner. It doesn't just search and summarize papers. It generates testable hypotheses, designs the experiments to prove them, and proposes original research directions. It actually thinks. Another one, Alpha Evolve, is a coding agent that doesn't just write code, it actively explores the infinite space of algorithms to discover fundamentally better methods. Hasabis is upfront that these agents aren't reliable enough yet to fully automate a long project, but that is exactly where all the investment is going. By 2026, expect to see AI agent teams that can run entire projects, coordinating with each other to deliver results that would take human teams months. So let's recap. By 2026, we're looking at a world with robots that reason before they move, AI-generated images and video that can inspect and improve themselves, live assistants guiding you through complex real-world tasks, entire interactive worlds generated from a single line of text, and armies of AI agents collaborating on scientific discovery. This isn't just another small step. This is a full-stack omni-model reality coming together. And here's the thing to remember. Google was caught completely flat-footed when ChatGPT launched. They looked slow. But now, they're not just catching up. They are building the fundamental infrastructure to dominate the next era of AI. 2026 is going to be intense. And if you're not paying attention, you are going to wake up in a world that looks very, very different. So, are you ready?